Hey guys, welcome back to another Healthy Helpings video. Today I'm your host Brandon from the community setting and I'm gonna be showing you a delicious and simple popcorn and lemon recipe. Let's get into it. All right, so we've got the popcorn popping in the back and while that's going, we're gonna make the lemon drizzle that's gonna go over the popcorn and it's very, very simple. Um, all it is is a tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil is packed with the good fats that we want in our diet, or HDL. To this mixture, we have one lemon. The lemon, of course, is the staple of this ingredient. So we're just gonna go right down the middle and squeeze half of this lemon juice in here. And I'm just gonna squeeze this into my fingers so that I don't get any seeds into the bowl. There we go. Now we're going to add one good pinch. The recipe calls for a tablespoon, but I'm gonna say about two, one to two good pinches of pepper. And finally, one more tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. So, Lemons are a great snack choice. And you see my Parmesan cheese is kind of crumbly. Add a little bit more. Lemon is a great snack choice because it's chalked with vitamin C, which of course we know boosts our immune system. There we go. And the popcorn is actually a source of whole grain, but you gotta be careful with the popcorn that you do get because you wanna make sure that um, it doesn't have any additives in it like the movie theater butter or extra sugars or salt added to it. You just want to get the plain popcorn for this. So our like lemon slurry is looking pretty good. Now we're just going to literally add our popcorn into this and mix the drizzle in with it and we're done. Mix this around with the lemon sauce that we made at the bottom and try not to make a mess while I'm in the process. There we go. I can see like some of the pepper flakes on the popcorn, so I know I'm getting... <laughs> Y'all forgive me for the mess I'm making. <laughs> oh man. It seems that I'm getting most of it on the counter and not in the bowl, but for the most part, we've got a good little mixture and you can see the pepper flakes and the Parmesan cheese on the popcorn as well. And now all that's left to do is give it a taste. All right, so there is our lemon Parmesan popcorn. And I can say it turned out really good. Um, the recipe doesn't call for a lot of olive oil um, or lemon juice. But again, I made a relatively small batch, but you do have to remember that the popcorn is really gonna absorb any liquid that you put into the bowl. And also it's best if you serve this right after you make it, else the popcorn just kind of gets soggy. Um, and I also wanna note that you might notice that my popcorn is um, a little on the yellowish side. That is because I searched and searched and searched for just regular popcorn with no additives in it, and I couldn't find any. Um, but I did get the low fat, um, light butter option and that's just the reality of trying to buy healthy sometimes your store that's closest to you won't have the option that you're looking for but it's important that you're able to make the best choices for what you have available so this is um, low-fat popcorn with light butter on it but again popcorn is a source of whole grain and the ones that don't have all the additives in it like the extra butter movie theater butter cheddar um, the sugars in it all that kind of stuff, make it a better option for a snack for you. So, with all that being said, enough talking, let's taste. Mmm. I didn't think it was gonna be enough lemon juice, but you can taste it a lot. This would be a great, like, alternative for, like, an unhealthy popcorn option for, like, a movie night. Because oftentimes when I eat popcorn, I'll normally get like the kettle popcorn. Um, 
And I don't know, just regular popcorn just doesn't have a really good flavor, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, and it always is missing something, which what is was, which is what kind of draws you to like the butter flavors or the cheddar flavors. But this is just a little bit of Parmesan cheese and some lemon and some pepper and some olive oil. It's really simple, really quick to make, a really healthy option. Um, and you do get a fruit serving in for this because fruit juice, like the lemon juice we added, does count as a fruit serving. So this is a really good option and I hope y'all try this. If y'all do, let us know. Until next time, we'll see you back here for more healthy helping videos with health and powers. Bye guys.